It's Friday. I'm super excited because later today I'm actually going to one of my really good friend's weddings. I cannot wait to celebrate with her. So it kind of has me in a celebratory mood. We spend a lot of time talking about how to get your period back. But today I thought I would talk about four things that happen after you get your period back. The first thing that happens when you get your period back is that you are gonna want to celebrate. Don't judge my cheap Prosecco. You are gonna be texting everyone like mad. I texted my mother, my father, my brother. I texted friends that I hadn't talked to in a year. I was practically ready to text the mailman if I had his number. Okay, maybe, maybe not him. But I wanted to tell everyone. I wanted to shout it from the rooftops. And all I kept thinking of is that scene in Pinocchio where he's going, I'm a real boy. And I was going, I'm a real girl, I'm a real girl. But it was so much fun to celebrate. We made a huge deal out of it. Went out for dinner, had champagne. And when you do get your period back, I totally support this. Go out and have fun, really making an event. I fully advocate doing this every month if you possibly can. It really makes it feel good. Well, it. It doesn't feel good, but you know, it feels good. The second thing that will happen when you finally get your period back, you will have absolutely no idea what to do about it. You will discover that you have somehow gotten amnesia and you actually have no idea how to purchase the accoutrement necessary to deal with it. I stood in the aisle of Walgreens in some kind of odd fugue state because I did not understand the differences between all the different kinds of tampons and all the different kinds of colors. Now there's pads and they're longer and they're shorter and they have wings and they have tails and they have Christmas lights and they have a disco ball that spins around. I don't know. There were so many different things I didn't even know where to begin. I didn't know if I wanted to wear tampons all the time, like pads at night or like, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Was there any type of scientific study on this? Like, could I call someone and phone a friend? Like, what did I have to do there? It took me a lot of trial and error before I finally settled on this bad boy. Boy, no, this is, this is definitely not a boy. This is the Diva Cup. And this is one of many different types of menstrual cups. I'm gonna actually be doing a review on this very soon, but I highly recommend. The third thing that's gonna happen when you finally get your period back, you are gonna wanna start training immediately. It's gonna be like, what? We are now cleared for takeoff. Not so fast. I really wanna stress that you do not want to go bananas right from day one. Common practice is to wait three cycles before you actually start to increase your physical activity. When you do increase your physical activity, if you do increase your physical activity, what am I even saying? I know you're going to. You have to be judicious, slow, and mindful. Remember that amenorrhea is somewhat like hypothermia in that once you get hypothermia, you're more likely to get hypothermia again. You're much more susceptible. Amenorrhea can kind of be like that, so you're gonna have to be mindful, which brings me to point four. The fourth thing that happens when you get your period back is that once it's done, you've had your four, five, six days, you're going to find that you still have anxiety, but now it's about next month. This is completely normal. The truth is that getting your period back is just the beginning. It's now your job to maintain all that good work you've done. And while you shouldn't be scared of this, you do have to remain mindful. You have to continue to eat well, don't add exercise, celebrate, buy a diva cup, and you're gonna be fine. You may not have a wedding to go to this weekend, but I do hope that you have fun wherever you are. Thank you, thank you so much to those of you who have donated this week to A Case of the Jills to help me keep going strong. You know you can schedule a chat with me on the website as well, and it was an absolute pleasure to speak with the ladies I spoke with this week. You girls knock me out every time. I feel so privileged and honored, honestly, it's amazing. Please like and hit that subscribe button. Share these videos with anyone you think could benefit. You might wanna go pick up a bottle of champagne this weekend. In the meantime, I'll be keeping that bottle chilled. Have a good weekend, see you soon.